Hello everyone, uh, back to our latest uh, lecture session I guess. So we introduced ourselves to a new uh, software, Visual Mintic and uh, what does that give, give us an idea about or how does that help us? It is going to help us in solving multiple equilibrium related uh, scenarios, right? What are the concentrations of your relevant compounds at your equilibrium let us see, right? But for that what do we need to be able to develop? We need to be able to identify the components and also be able to give or specify what is the total component concentration going to be, right. So in that case in the previous lecture I believe we looked at a case of adding a single acid to a water. So the next case we are going to look at again a simple case I guess is going to be adding a single base to water, right. So again the whole point of this class is not just to uh, understand the system but also to be able to intuitively come up with the solution now, right. So once you have relevant background you should be able to hopefully you know guess at the relevant answer. So that is something again we are going to try to do in this particular uh, class or session again, right. So let us see what we have here. So the next example I guess we are going to have is that you know we are going to add a single base, single base and what is that in this case? So earlier we looked at the single acid. So we are going to use the conjugate or you know similar acid here and it is going to be NaAc or I guess sodium acetate and we are going to add it at 10 power minus 3 molar and I want to know the pH and the concentrations of all and any other compounds that are going to be in solution, right. So earlier we had an acid and <clears throat> we looked at calculating the pH. I think we did a relatively decent job with respect to estimating the pH. Same case here first try to uh, let us try to estimate the uh, pH of this solution now, right. So first uh, it is going to be a test for us I guess. So let us do that here. So we are adding 10 power minus 3 molar, right, uh, not too strong and not too dilute either. So the total is 10 power minus 3 molar. And we are not adding the acid here, we are adding the base, right, NaAc let us see, right. So keep in mind now that the pKa value is around 4.7. So let us look at the pH let us say, right, and we know that it is going to be something like this and if it is going to be something like this let us see. And here is 4.7. So if you are adding base to water. First the pH should increase, so it should hopefully be greater than 7, let us say right, it is going to be hopefully greater than 7 and what else can we look at let us say. And but if it is around 7 though or greater than 7, you see that most of it is going to stay as AC minus and little of it will probably be as HAC, 4.7 and 6.7, so very little of it is going to be staying as HAC. What does that mean? So HAC and AC minus and H plus, right. So when you are adding AC minus to the solution, which is the case here, very little of it is going to stay as HAC, as in very little H plus is going to be removed from your solution, right. So what does that mean? The pH is only going to slightly increase. So let us say we are going to go with 7.2 maybe. So this is my guess here. Let us see or let us check later on, I guess. So let us come back to what we have here. So first uh, what is our approach here? We always look at what are the species, uh, what is our approach here? Let us uh, try to uh, regurgitate here species. We need to identify what are the compounds that are present at equilibrium in the solution and for this you obviously need some background and what is the background that we have? We have some background with respect to acid and base chemistry, right and we already discussed the relevant aspects. So we do not need to go in that in great detail. So we identify the species then choose the components accordingly, then write the formation equations, <coughs> pardon me, and then come up with the tableau and then the component balance equations and then we come up with the equilibrium equations and then finally solve them. So obviously the Vmintech can bypass most of these but you should at least be able to write the tableau or come up with the component balance equations, right. So let us see what we have here. So species now are going to be uh, certainly H plus and OH minus right we are always going to have them in water whenever we have water these are aqueous solutions and then we have the deprotonated form AC minus which is what we are adding and we are going to have the protonated form HAC. So you are not sure so that is why I am going to have HAC here I am not sure if I am going to have HAC or at significant levels but I am going to go with having it and obviously because I am adding sodium I am also going to have 
N A plus. So, what is the equation here I guess that we need to look at? N A A C will dissociate in 2 N A plus plus A C minus and A C minus plus H plus can go to H A C right. So, that is what uh, we are more or less looking at right. So, these are our species here. So, what are our components? So, similar to the last case we are going to choose how do we choose the components? We always try to choose such that you know you are going to arrive at the solution earlier and in this case we say you always choose H plus you can choose OH minus, but you will arrive at the solution uh, later I guess especially if working out by hand and especially if you look at women tech I guess you would obviously try to choose H plus why I believe H plus is listed as one of your components right. So, it again even if you are trying to work out by hand <coughs> it is always better to choose those components that are given as preset components in your women tech. So, that is always you know a guaranteed way to arrive at your solution faster. So, let us see here the components obviously are going to be H plus and then the thumb rule is most deprotonated form A C minus and we are not done with that because we still need to form N A plus we are going to go with N A plus right. So, now the formation equations the formation equations what are they I guess I am going to list all my species here H plus O H minus A C minus H A C and N A plus and let me look at that. So, how many H plus do I need here 1 H plus to form or is equal to H plus H 2 O minus H plus is equal to O H minus 1 A C minus will form 1 A C minus and H plus plus A C minus will form H A C and 1 N A plus will form my N A plus. So, now I can come up with my tableau and what is my tableau here please and here I am going to have the components H plus A C minus and N A plus and the relevant species here H plus O H minus A C minus H A C and N A plus and then here the recipe species what did we add initially? We have the source compound for everything as N A A C that is going to be N A C naught. So, even for that I am going to write that down N A A C naught how do I form that N A plus plus A C minus will be equal to N A A C naught. So, anyway coming back here. So, first I am going to write the components with respect H plus from these formation equations right 1 H plus minus 1 0 1 0 and more critically 0 here right and A C minus 0 0 1 1 0 and again 1 here and here N A plus is going to play no further role here it is just a <coughs> salt here. So, 1 and 1 right. So, obviously you can straight away solve for concentration of N A plus right if you apply here. So, let us move on to uh, this particular space here on the left hand side and if I want to I can directly remove that particular variable from my unknown N A plus or N A total I am going to do the component balance here and I am going to start with N A. So, N A total is equal to the concentration of N A plus at equilibrium and that as I see is equal to 1 times N A C naught N A A C naught and that as I know is equal to 10 power minus 3 molar 10 power minus 3 molar. So, concentration of N A plus should be equal to 10 power minus 3 molar. So, I am already done with that. So, I can obviously again set up the relevant equations for H total, but what will H total be equal to I guess right. Let us just write down H total for now H plus <coughs> minus concentration of OH minus plus H A C and that is equal to what now? There is no source. So, that is going to be equal to 0. So, that is the change here I guess, but with respect to A C total what are we going to see here? It is going to be equal to the concentration of H A C at equilibrium and also concentration of the estate ion at equilibrium and that is equal to 1 times concentration of N A A C not initial that is equal to 10 power minus 3. So, we can obviously solve for this. So, we instead of solving for this let us go ahead and plug this in and let me look at uh, my estimate of around 7.2 right. So, let us go ahead and uh, plug this in. So, we have N A total 10 power minus 3, H total is 0, S total is 10 power minus 3. So, I am going to switch here and 
edit list. Okay, I thought I plugged that in, I guess. It's not 0.3. And the estate total was 0 0.001, right? 0 0.001, and I'm going to add that to the list, right? I'm going to check the list just to be sure, okay? And <clears throat> what else? I think I need to add H total. A, B, C, D, F, G, H. H total though I believe was only I'll add it to the list and then uh, set it up to be 0 here because H total as we knew was 0, right? It was just 0 there. It was just 0. And again back to main menu and again I'm going to add NA plus and and yay I guess I'm missing something here sodium sodium right and that again was equal to point zero zero one and I'm going to add to that list view edit list zero point zero zero one so on and so on right so that is what we have here and back to main menu so we need to calculate the pH Anic strength is not fixed and needs to be calculated and the units are molal, right? I could have used millimolal and one, I will do that later. And so, I am now going to run the VMintech and let us see what we have. Okay, I guess I am slightly off from my particular value, looks like the pH is slightly higher, uh, 7.8 and let us look at what the species are, did we approximate the species well enough? So, we did look at uh, 5 species, I guess, right? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, we did not list NAAC and NAOH because in general they would be present at very, very low concentrations and I guess that is what you would see here, yes. So, NAOH is present at very low concentrations and even NAAC is present at very low concentrations. So, some of the take home messages are ionic strength is again low. So, that is why the concentration and activity should more or less be the same because activity coefficients are going to be now negligible, not negligible I guess they are going to be equal to 1. So, that is what you see here and let us look at species distribution. What will this give me an idea about in what form is a state present as? So, it looks like almost 100 percent of it almost anyway is present as AC minus, right? And that is what you see here and uh, very little less than 0.1 percent is present as NAAC and HAC. That is what you see here, right? And also NA plus is present almost 100 percent or more than 99.9 percent as NA plus and very little is present as NAAC, right? So, we are uh, done with that for now. Again, this is what you expect. Uh, why is a state uh, AC minus so high in concentration? Because pH is far greater than pKa, right? So, that is why you see that more or less all the state or state total is present as AC minus. So, again keep in mind that we have the pH versus ionization fraction graph, right? And we know that when the pH is exceeding pKa, what do you expect now? You expect that at equilibrium at that particular pH, when pH is greater than pKa again, you are going to expect that the proton, not proton pardon me, the relevant acid is going to stay in its deprotonated form. And for the acetic acid, what is the deprotonated form? It is the estate, estate ion, right? So, that is what we see here. And as pH 7 or in this case 7.8 I guess, right? That is what we mean to calculate is far off from 4.7 which is the pKa of your particular acetic acid. So, that is why almost all of your acetic acid is present in the deprotonated form which is the uh, estate ion I guess, right? Anyway, so estate total most of it is an acetic uh, estate ion and take home message is pH 7.8. So, uh, let us go back I guess and look at the other uh, example that I have for today. So, I am going to switch here. So, I am done with this particular case. So, we will look at the other example and I believe the other example is such that we are going to add both an acid and a base. So, earlier we add only one acid or one base. So, this time though I am going to see to it that we are going to add an acid and a base. So, we know that the source compounds or recipe species are 10 power minus 3 HAC and 2 into 10 power minus 3 NAAC. So, you are adding an acid and you are adding a base at twice its concentration and from our background we know that the pKa value is 4.7. So, 
So, the first aspect it is we need to do that is we need to or we are trying to uh, intuitively guess the answer right. So, let us try to do that I guess. So, here we have uh, we are going to try to guess that and we have relatively equal amounts now we have higher concentration of the base twice right. So, we have the HAC and AC minus, but AC minus is in higher concentration. So, the first case that I can guess is that <coughs> you are adding the same type of acid and its uh, conjugate base. So, the pH is going to be nearer pKa right, if you add same concentrations of acid and base to water. But here the pKa is 4.7, but you are adding more base. So, what would that be then or what would the pH then be? It will be slightly higher than your pKa value. Again, if you add the same quantities of your acid and conjugate base, you are going to have your particular pH nearer to the pKa. But now, you are adding twice as much of your base as your acid. So, what I am presuming is that the particular concentration not concentration pardon me pH of your particular system is going to be higher, uh, but not by great value uh, when compared to your pKa. So, let us see why that is I guess right. So, here not y just a basic explanation. So, p k is 4.7. So, if we added them at equal quantities we will have them at 4.7 pH, but if I am adding twice that and the concentrations are not too high, but not too low either. So, I am going to go with around 5 maybe pH 5. So, let us say our guess is going to be equal to 5. Why is that? Because I have higher concentration of base compared to the acid. So, again briefly let us set up our particular uh, system right we are going to list the species the components and directly we are trying to go into write the tableau today or this time anyway and then we are going to set it up in vmintec and let us check our answer I guess right. So, let us list our uh, species. So, the usual species that you would expect are what is it now HAC and AC minus and certainly H plus and OH minus and then Na plus. So, we are neglecting the other minor species that we came across I believe we came across NaOH and sodium acetate 2, but as you see they were less than 0.1 percent of 10 power minus 3 molar that means they exist at little to uh, uh, negligible values I guess. So, anyway HAC AC minus at least with our acid base chemistry background we should be able to have HAC and AC minus and H plus and OH minus and obviously the salt Na plus. So, let us uh, try to write down our uh, components what is going to change not much because they are still the same we are going to have H plus AC minus and Na plus right. So, those are our uh, 3 components. So, let us directly jump on to the uh, <coughs> tableau and here I am going to have the species HAC AC minus <coughs> And here it is going to be 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 1. <coughs> but here the issue is that we have two source compounds or recipe species they are HAC naught and NAAC naught. So, we have two recipe species. So, H plus that is going to be 1 here and again H state 1 and 0 here and again here it is going to be 0 no contribution to NAAC, AC is going to be 1 and NA is going to be 1. So, first we need to have our H total. So, for Vmintec what do we need to be able to <coughs> specify I guess we need to be specify the components right and the total component concentrations which is what we am trying to calculate here or we are trying to calculate here right. So, H total what is that equal to it is 1 times H A C naught and that is equal to 10 power minus 3 molar and but what about A C total though that is equal to 1 times and this is what we are looking at is equal to uh, what do we have here H A C naught plus 1 times N A A C naught and what are these two compounds where do we get that from that initially these are the two compounds that we are uh, putting into our system right. So, now we have that is going to be equal to HAC naught is 10 power minus 3 plus 2 into 10 power minus 3 
that is equal to 3 into 10 power minus 3 right. So, these are the two values or two components that I am going to plug in into my solution. The units are molar units here. Uh, so, switch. So, let us look at view edit list and again uh, the sodium N A plus is equal to 1 times N A A C naught and that is going to be equal to what now N A A C naught is 2 into 10 power minus 3 molar. So, I will switch now this time I will switch to millimolar units and I know that and what is my particular value here please and I know that uh, sodium was equal to I believe 2 millimolar right. So, I will say add that to the list and what else do I need to have? I need to have I uh, will say key disappear I guess H total is equal to 10 power minus 3 and state total equal to 3 times 10 power minus 3. Let us see if I can edit that list here H total is equal to and again the key H total was equal to uh, 1 millimolar I believe and state was equal to 3 millimolar right. So, this now the units were uh, back to main menu right uh, the units were millimolar let me again just check 3 1 and 2 H plus is 1 and the state is 2 let us check that <coughs> again please. So, H total is 1 millimolar right 1 millimolar and this is equal to 3 millimolar and let us switch and check 1 and 3 right we are on the right track. So, everything else seems in order and I am going to run my women tech and first aspect is uh, well that is bingo. Uh, we have pH as 5.042 and I believe we uh, estimated to be around 5 or uh, such. So, that was a, uh, a decent guess there and then we have the relevant concentrations and activities right here we have a slightly higher ionic strength that is the reason why we see some deviation with respect to our activities but still uh, relatively dilute values and again major aspect to look at is the species distribution. So, N A plus is always mostly going to stay as it solved. So, N A plus itself. So, 99 percent of N A uh, put in is going to stay as N A plus at equilibrium and this particular table. So, as P H 5 right the P H was 5 and we know that the P K value. So, P H is 5 and P K of this acetic acid is what now 4.7. So, what does that mean? You are going to have slightly higher concentration of your estate or deprotonated form, but still significant amounts of your uh, protonated form. So, let us see if I have if we have that. So, that is what we see here. So, 66 percent is as acetate or the deprotonated form and we see that as the HAC or the protonated form we have 33 percent. Again the total should obviously be equal to 100 percent and that is what we see here. And so, uh, we are done with uh, today's class again. So, we were today able to again look at a few more examples one with respect to addition of uh, base and then addition of both an acid and a base and then estimating the pH and then looking at the total component balance equations to be able to calculate your uh, what do we say pH using v -Mintec. So, with that I guess uh, I'll, I bid adieu and uh, we will meet in the next lecture session and thank you.